What is going on, my everythings? It is your girl, Janiqua A, and I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you, and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. Happy Friday, y'all. The moon has entered cancer. The watery signs of cancer, all right? So right now, that energy is bringing a more mother a more divine feminine energy, a more wanting to keep homes together, wanting more to cook, wanting more to be around your partner. It's also bringing a very protective energy over yourself, your heart, your journey, and also you're going to be more protective over the things and the people that you love the most. That energy is heightened at this time because of, you know, cancer energy being that, you know, just motherly, you know, affectionate compassionate and protective over the things that they love and what means the most to them so let's tap in and see what you need to know about the moon entering cancer today all right shout out to all my cancers out there if you guys are cancer um zodiac signs rep y'all sign in a chat rep y'all sign in the comments baby rep y'all sign shout out for the cancer all right, so let's tap in. Archangel Michael and the leg wall, please protect me. Protect my mind, my body, and my spirit. Clear all my chakras as we tap into the most important messages surrounding my everything's energy right now. Also, y'all can be very, very, very protective about a specific, a specific craft or a particular study, all right, or a belief. Oh! Divine Feminine and Divine Masculines are locked in. Let me tell you, my last reading came out with Emperor and Empress Energy. This weekend is about Divine Feminine and Divine Masculines locking in. Let me tell you, if you are Divine Feminine, your Masculine, whoever that may be in your life, is very protective over you. They see something that they didn't see before, and that's your heart. That's how you make the house a home. That's how protective you are. That's how loyal you are. They're seeing the qualities in you that makes you such a divine feminine. And let me tell you, my masculine's out there. Your divine feminine is highly protective over you right now. It's highly protective over the union and it's praying for you and your surroundings as we speak. Divine feminine and divine masculine. All right. Y'all being they want they want to be a protector. All right. And you want to be their emotional safety, baby. Their safe haven. Y'all, divine masculine and feminines out here for this um moon and cancer energy. Locked in. All right. This is also the Venus sign. And um, this is the Venus sign and and Mars. All right, this is the Mars symbol. And this is this is a this is passionate. This is a very intense and passionate connection. This is also a highly spiritual connection. This is a also this also is a relationship with a divine masculine, divine feminine that is highly emotionally connected with one another. Y'all two are really, really emotional, emotional beings. All right, and you know, with the masculine energies being Mars, you know how to calm this person down. When he is fired up, you just bring him into a space and a feeling that nobody can't get him into. You are the only person that could calm him down with such, with such fire in him. And he is able to teach you how to be brave. He gives you the courage to protect yourself and defend yourself. He gives you the courage that he is standing right by you, ten toes down. You ain't got nothing to worry about. Mars and Venus. All right. Uh, you know, a lot of you guys are not in love. A lot of you guys really don't give a fuck about y'all divine masculines or divine feminines. But don't get in the comments and bring negative energy. Because there are people that is watching this that are going through this. And you don't want to mess it up 
for the people that aren't in love. You don't want to mess it up for the relationship that is being highlighted right now because it is it is it is involving two divine beings. All right, so I'm not saying don't feel how you feel, but don't fuck it up and don't fuck up the excitement and what's to expect coming from two people that love each other and that two people that are willing to fight with one another against the oppressors. All right, so let's tap in. Spirit, give me more about this um, divine masculine and divine feminine energy that is locking in. What it say? I put this on my life. I promise and love you. Something. It's like this look like handcuffs. Like y'all ready to get y'all ready to go to jail for one another. You hear me? As long as y'all fighting for truth and the truth within, as long as y'all keep honoring the truth, I'm telling you, this is a very protective energy that we are in right now today as the moon into cancer. They know it's like home is where the heart is. All right, in this past life. A past life connection is so fucking intense because it's here to teach you stuff. It has karma attached to it, all right? Spirit, what else does my everything needs to know about this divine masculine and feminine energy? Communication. So right now you could be in no contact. And for some of you guys, it's something about a phone where somebody is no longer listening to people about a phone. Somebody is cutting all ties when it comes to, so if somebody was reaching out to you via phone, that's not happening no more. That shit is clipped. There's something about telephone. Where a lot of communication was being had through a telephone. All right. And now somebody is setting boundaries. It says not listening and setting boundaries. You know, like this is my phone. How are you going to tell me who not to call my phone? Why are you even in my phone? It's, it's a type of energy. All right. You guys, I see that there is a divine masculine and divine feminine that is no longer allowing miscommunication to mess with your relationship. And you guys are setting boundaries. All right. Uh, a lot of you guys are going to feel really, really respected and honored by somebody. The actions and their behavior that is being shown is really speaking volumes when it comes to them finally setting some sort of boundary. Yeah. Stress. Feeling like the world is on their shoulders. All right, if you haven't heard from somebody in a couple of days, or even a day is because somebody's dealing with a lot, y'all. You know, with this moon and cancer, not all is what it seems. It's a very dreamy type of energy, all right? And somebody is coming and awakening to the fact that this is not the dream <laughs> that they were be that they were expect to be living right now. All right, somebody is heavily, overly weighed down with responsibilities. Somebody's shoulder and back could be hurting. They neck could be hurting. Somebody is stressed, taking on way too much. And you know, for some of you guys, the communication you guys have is the gateway for them to release. Is that foundation and that avenue for them to talk and express. Like you are their safe haven. They feel comfortable expressing their hardships. You make them feel emotionally safe to be truthful and be honest. So if you guys didn't speak to this person in a couple of days or something, that's weighing them down because now they just have so much stress built up, especially not speaking to the person, the only person that they feel comfortable with telling somebody something to, you know? It's 
person feel way down. All right. Somebody is dealing with mental health. All right. Somebody is dealing with a mental illness. Somebody is addicted. All right. And, and uh, there's a repetitive negative generational trauma, like a pattern of that occurring in somebody's life and somebody's recognizing it. All right. This could be somebody you had children with. All right, it says blended family, foster, or adoption. So this could be somebody taking on too much. That's not even their children. This could be just having all the responsibility on them when it comes to their children and having to take care of somebody that can't take care of themselves on top of, you know, taking care of children. It's a lot of responsibilities. You know, it's looking like somebody don't even feel safe and comfortable with the children being left alone around somebody. So with that thought, you're going to take on certain responsibilities. Somebody is not in their right mind to be around children. Somebody is not mentally stable to take care or to be around children right now. And that may be causing a lot of stress. You know, with this cancer moon, no matter if you are a father or a mother, your, your, your emotion and your protection and your love for your children is going to heighten at this time with this energy all right so if there is somebody that loved the shit out their children whether they blended families foster or adoption or not and they see somebody like this they're going to be very protective over the children and take care of the children way more because they see that somebody is out of their mind suffering mentally all right so family is playing a big part in somebody's life right now when it comes to maybe co-parenting, when it comes to, you know, children, and when it comes to their own life, their job, their responsibilities, all right? So there's going to be a lot of addressing things. And again, with this cancer, um, with this moon entering cancer, okay, um, somebody's also thinking about where they want to be and where they feel more comfortable at. All right, it's like they're being, they're giving themselves an ultimatum. Like, what relationships do I really need and, and willing to focus on right now? All right, so a lot of choices being made. And through these choices, there's going to be a lot of heartbreak on a completely different level. This is devastation on a completely different level based off of the choices that are being made right now. All right, and it's to cleanse. All of this negativity out is to cleanse all these people out so you guys can have a, a, a finally enjoy a passionate experience. And with this cleaning house and with this cleaning out, all right, the, the trash that was left behind, you guys doing what you need to do, all right, it's causing a lot of devastation and heartbreak. All right, so spirit, give me more of this divine masculine and divine feminine energy. Y'all might be a lot right now. Y'all on the same type of vibration. Yeah, interference. Eight of swords. You guys are blocking everybody out, all right? You guys are finally in your own lane, all right? Or will be because there are certain improvements in behavior that is happening here, all right? That's causing a lot of right action and decision making, all right? So there will no longer be interference, all right? If y'all was having a lot of interference coming from a mental patient, somebody that was very mentally unstable, maybe have personality disorder, all right, this person is completely devastated and heartbroken on a whole different level because they are completely out of the picture and they can't. There's something that is interfering where they can't interfere with you guys no more. They're completely blocked from coming in your lane. All right. So this is a part of cleaning the house. Spirit, give me more on this communication.
Yeah, six of swords. This person is lost without you. They are lost without the only person that really understands them. All right, so expect with the six of swords, somebody is going to be reaching out to you like, can we please get over this? Can we please get over this situation? Because the six of swords is a gateway card. And it's an energy where you need some sort of support or confidence and finding a solution to something. And if you are the only person that they really feel comfortable expressing their problems to, you know, they need that right now because a decision was made. A decision was made and sometimes it's very uncomfortable to stand on business. All right, so this person is about to reach out because they simply feel lost. They feel lost. You know, it's very uncomfortable getting comfortable with setting boundaries. All right, they also feel lost that they even allow. So if somebody allowed people to interfere, they feel very, very effed up. All right, spirit, give me more on this way down. Stressed. Feeling like the world is on their shoulders. Because they're trying to do what's right in both parties. They're trying to protect you. They're trying to prioritize you. They're trying to... Um, grow with you but also a queen of swords yo this person keep coming out in every day who is this queen of swords that is weighing everybody down somebody feels very weighed down somebody feels like like if i if if oz could kill somebody would be dead all right they are looking at this masculine like they are very disgusted all right, they are very disgusted. Um, and they're sitting down. They're watching this masculine go through this. They're watching this masculine feel way down. Um, their words, you know, the Queen of Swords is supposed to be the warrior of truth, but they have certain ways to say say certain things that really could damage somebody. Somebody could have said something, all right, or what they are not saying, all right. But this is a Queen of Swords that's weighing somebody to fuck down, cause they not. It don't look like they weigh down. They are watching this man, all right. So that's gonna show. Whoever's going through this with this Queen of Swords, all right, that's going to show the lack of compassion. Remember, the moon has into Cancer. It's going to show the lack of emotional safety, the lack of attention, the lack of understanding of what this man is actually really going through. Spirit, give me one more call on this. Um, yep. Here go to one more call, the Ten of Wands. It's no more after this. Once you read the Ten, yeah, look. Everything is in the past. Everything is outdated. It's like somebody is uh, replaying outdated events. Somebody keep bringing up outdated events. Played out. Somebody is only going to have a memory of somebody. There it will only be a memory left. Like somebody is continuing to replay memories. And what it used to be in the past. And not necessarily taking care of what's happening in the current moment. Somebody is making a change. After 10, there's no, you can't go on anymore. Being left with all the responsibilities because you are divine masculine. Because you are the protector and provider. All right? Somebody literally feels like a person that everybody sticks their problems on. Everybody sticks their errands on. Everybody, somebody is just, they're, they're Everybody's acting too much of them and they keep making them feel responsible and holding them accountable for other people, other things that, that they don't have no connection to. The 10 of wands is somebody saying, I am no longer being a doormat for everybody else's responsibilities. I am no longer the go-to person just to stick all your problems on because you know, I'm going to attend to them. And look, they're still watching. So if you hate somebody that bad to just watch them suffer and not break off the relationship, you got to be one sick-minded person. 
Because having somebody feel like this, especially as this moon is in Cancer, ain't going to do you no justice in whatever it is that you're trying to receive as an outcome. You know, your words as the Queen of Swords right now is not making it any better to get what you want right now. All right? Somebody look like they despise somebody. All right? And then the children, this will be falling right under the children. Like, they may have had a happy life. They may have blended families before, but it's not like that. And somebody keeps trying to replay or try to get things how it used to be with this world call. But the world call is closure. It's done. It's done. You can't keep making kids a reason why you staying. You can't make keep bringing up past, like sounding like a broken record. Keep replaying past events that been closed out. All right, like it's like somebody is so pissed at somebody else for not wanting to be a family no more. You know, not wanting to get back into how I used to be after something completely is over and done with, world card. All right, Spirit, give me more on this mental health, this mental patient, please and thank you. Somebody could be on meds for their health. Just don't always got to be. It's still a form of drug. They're going crazy. Because they know that they're not wanted. This person has made themselves out to be a mental patient by the way they are behaving. Because of rejection. Somebody is forcing themselves on somebody. And somebody, all they're thinking about is you. All they're thinking about how can they get away and be with their divine feminine. Somebody is completely bored and unattracted and unhappy and unsatisfied with a queen of swords. And she is upset. Look, she like, yeah, I know who you're looking at. I know who you want. So if you know that, then why you just don't free yourself? She despises this masculine for wanting you. All right, and she is... She's, she's turned herself into a mental patient, a crazy person. She is being looked at as, you know, so when I see mental patient, like mental health and the rejection card, the four of swords, like, you know, very bored, very uninterested. This man is very uninterested in what this person has to offer. They're not sexually attracted to him, to them, not one bit. So you would get looked at as somebody that's going crazy because you can feel this rejection. You know somebody wants somebody else. They are showing it. They're making you feel like that. So to want to stay with somebody and then have the audacity to give them an evil eye, you got to be crazy. And this is what people are realizing. Like they are really crazy. And the moon in cancer is not making it better because if this person drink, they're going to drink a lot and they're going to get more emotional. All right. And they're going to go crazy because they're trying to protect something that is not there. Something has to be there. A spark has to be there for you to protect something. And the more you seem, the more you get mad, the more you do things to try to overload them with work and responsibility so they could be around you. The more you keep bringing up memories of children and making them feel guilty because of the children is the more you're making this person want to go somewhere else emotionally all right spirit give me more on this heartbreak on a different level and you see how crazy it is somebody could be heartbroken because somebody choosing to cleanse their energy look ace of clubs the heartbroken ace of clubs look the three of swords they feel like a clown y'all Somebody emotions is on high right now because somebody feels very silly about their behavior. Somebody is really looking at their behavior like, I can't even stop this. This is not even something that I can stop no more. Like somebody is wanting to be somewhere else, y'all. 
Ace of Cups. This is somebody wanting to pull your champagne, not wanting you to move a finger, wanting to pour into you, wanting to make you feel honorable and valuable because this is the nurturing energy you provide. It's a lot there with somebody. Somebody is really angry. This is anger, crying blood. They like out for blood. Their, their heart is broken on a different level because it's like a game. Love is not a game. Your heart is not a game. And being with somebody like, look how somebody looking at somebody. They not even giving a fuck about they, 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 they feeling overloaded. They watching them take that, right? So it's looking like somebody don't even give a fuck about this man. Somebody don't even like this man. Somebody despise this man, but they don't want the man to be with you. And the fact that the man is with you it, it 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 killed them. It's something about you. All right. What is it about my everything that that got this woman upset like this? The ten of cups. Where he want to be? He want to be with the kid that he has with you, or the kid that you have. He. It looks like he blend family. So you know he wants to be with you. Ten of cups. This is his happily ever after. He not even focused on nothing. He's with the children and you are the prior. You are the highlight. You make it fun. You make it feel good to be family oriented. This is 3D. This is not, she's mad because this is 3D. This is current. When you see the 3D guys, that's 3D. This is here and now, up close and personal. Again, cancer energy is all about protecting what you love, protecting your family. This weekend is big on protecting your lover and your family and what you work so hard to be and your success. Because there's a big, big confirmation here that new love and a new start and evolving is here. Commitment is here for you in love. So again, if you are not the person that is receiving this love, please don't come in the comments and fuck it up for everybody else. This is this is the happily ever after. The ace of cups to the ten of cups. That's eleven cups. Eleven, eleven. Make your wish. Twin flame energy. They see the bond. They see who you are. They see that motherly role. All right? So expect a lot of change here. A lot of change, y'all. The moon has entered motherfucking cancer. Okay. Spirit, what is the closing out messages? What is this person and his mental health? What is this mental illness? He's out. There is a knight of wands that is headed to you. They also feel like you are aligned with their soul's journey and their spiritual journey that they're on. They're on a journey to discovery, to discover what makes them happy. And right now, it is you, the divine masculine, divine feminine. They come in your way and they can't stop it. You know, like the knight of wands is not coming your way for just you. The knight of wands is somebody that is a passionate, about, passionate about what they want. So if their focus is on you, they're going to do everything in their power to get it. If their focus is on a job, they're going to do everything in their power to get it. If their focus is on whatever, they're going to do everything in their power to get it. So how hard this person is going to get you, all right, is making this person go crazy. They are on a journey. Expect you might, like, your weekend... Is really, really going to be filled with love and family. And you're going to love this. Because, again, the cancer energy is going to make you more protective. It's going to make you more loving. It's going to make you more kind. It's going to make you recognize the behavior of your man. All right? It's going to make it's gonna make him recognize the behavior of you and the togetherness. All right? Um, Spirit, what is the closing out messages for this Queen of Swords? This is a new start, y'all. This is a new start.
the two of cups, a new relationship. Like, this is compatibility. This is two people, twin flame energy. Like, y'all souls are connected. You, you guys, it's like love at first sight. It's like endless conversations. Hold on, y'all. It's endless conversations. All right? And this person... This person might try. I ain't gonna front because everybody has free will. But their intentions is so dark towards this connection. No don't mean no to them. All right, so they just gonna have to suck it up and get their panties out the bunch because when you see the two of wands here, that means this is progress in the making. This is, means this is taking action. Something is moving forward. And it's the bond that y'all share. It is the charisma that, and the magnetism and the attraction. Look, this is what's going on now. If this person is around your masculine now and they haven't been reaching out to you, it's because like this. They are standing there over your masculine, literally investigating and being like a, a warden of a jail. But it's not stopping your masculine from reaching out to you. It's not stopping your masculine from, from smiling at the texts. It's not stop it's not stopping your communication. But it is like they might can't reach out to you in a timely fashion because they are overloaded. Look, this is the Ten of Wands. This is the way down card. This is like exactly like another Ten of Wands. And they are fearful about their children being in this mental patient's custody. All right, look, but y'all gonna about to get together this weekend. Y'all gonna go out. Y'all gonna have a nice time. It looks like you always around his friends. There's another masculine, all right? It could be a friend. It could be a uncle. It could be a brother. But you always chill around them. You always, you feel confident. Your man feels confident to bring you around so there's gonna be a date night the nine of cups he's romantically in love with you he feels safe having you around his friends his family okay so they could do this all they want but it's not helping them all right there's a date night here a date night and i told you my other reader it was like ladies leave your man now the club is my love all is and they pockets get little grown and all your fellas leave your girl with a freak because it's 11 11 30 and the club is jumping jumping they love how you dress they love your divine feminine energy they love your sensuality they love how you all over them even when other men are there they love how you recognize them and you make them the the star of the show every time no matter who's there all right, they're very protective over you right now. And so are you all to them. It's like you you guys, you know, again, Google it. The moon, when the moon is in cancer, this is how you're going to see. They're going to want you around. Like if he wasn't never clingy before, this man is going to be clingy to you because they're recognizing certain things. All right, so um, Spirit, what is the advice for my everythings? The five of cups to the two of pentacles. Don't answer nobody if they call you. All right. It's looking like somebody is weighing their options about reaching out to you because of the, the loss of a connection. I wouldn't even advise you to pick it up. Anything else? For my everything, don't even feed into that. Continue to be submissive and pretty. <laughs> Look. So for some of you guys, it's not you. This man don't want you to go. All right, a lot. It's looking like a lot of you guys made a decision to leave at one point. And when I tell you, there was so much things going on for you to leave. Somebody don't want you to go. Somebody don't want you to go. And that's the thing. Somebody's realizing, like, it's not you. Somebody is literally pulling on your energy. All right, look, because this is where the home is. 
Ten of Pentacles. They feel stable here. They feel like if they children are involved in this family or y'all have a family together, they don't they won't think so much about what's going to happen to their children when they're not gone because of the life that y'all live in. The Ten of Pentacles. Spirit, anything um regarding this masculine? Any advice or closing out messages for this masculine involved? Listen to yourself. There's a lot of people in your ear that is trying to alter your own decision. Listen to yourself. Got a lot of people offering you a lot of different things so that way you don't make the right decision. Okay? Yeah, you know what it is. They, they, they're going to choose you. All right, so the Seven of Cups to the Eight of Cups to the Ace of Cups. That's eight cups. They are walking away. From manipulation and choosing this big ass cup which is the holy grail that they are pouring into you ace of cups y'all feel the same way about each other you got the ten of cups to the motherfucking ten of pentacles where that ten of pentacles at i don't know i'll put it back but this is y'all on the same type of timing all right, so expect a lot of love. Again, um, the moon has entered cancer, so y'all are very protective over one another right now. Y'all protective over y'all family right now. Um, y'all are willing to go, go against any anyone for each other is what I'm seeing. And this is where they want to be. This is in 3D. Somebody might try to reach out to you. So, you know, try to be responsible for how you act. But somebody's behavior, um, somebody's, it's a wrap for somebody. All right, expect to be loved. Expect to feel worthy from somebody. If they didn't never show you that before, they will. This is like, you know, and again, a lot of you guys are not with y'all divine masculine, divine feminine. But don't try to fuck it up for the people that are. You know what I'm saying? Because this is love. This is recognizing, you know, and we, the, the planets help us. The planets help us understand. The planets help us process our emotions. You know, this is a very emotional time. The emotions are heightening when it comes around family and home and unions. And people are willing to protect and really go hard for the people that they love right now. And that's what I see. All right. So this is what this weekend is going to be filled for you guys as far as romance. All right, I love you. Don't have to help.